Barry from Hedwig Village has a question about hardwoods. Well, he's thinking about putting them in on a concrete slab that was poured back in 1965. Okay. Barry writes, I found a three-quarter inch wood floor that I really like, but I don't want the problems down the road that could happen. If I use a moisture barrier and maybe 100% moisture-resistant glue, is that the answer, Tom? Or should I need, or do I need to find a thinner kind of three-eighths inch or half-inch wood floor? What's your suggestion? If you're going to nail down a wood floor on a concrete slab, the procedure is three-quarter inch plywood. But you can imagine with a three-quarter inch plywood, three-quarter inch floor, your whole floor goes up an inch and a half. So all the details in the home get kind of messed up with the baseboards and the doors and things. So it's really not a great way to do it. Uh, as far as a moisture barrier and then a glue, that doesn't work. The glue will be the moisture barrier if it is a glue-down floor. Not one of my favorites. I'll tell you right now, I would not put a glue-down floor in my house because the glue t- sometimes tends to let go and then you got a little bit of a mess on your hands with the floor coming loose from the concrete. I like the floating floors. I think if you find one that you can live with, the floating floors that don't attach to the concrete are the best way to go. And there will be a moisture barrier that goes down, which will be a plastic or a foam, whatever the manufacturer recommends. So when you're putting down a hardwood floor, that that three quarter inch plywood you put down underneath. Do you affix that to the slab, or is that you floor? do? You nail, you glue and nail that to the slab. Okay. And then when you nail your wood floor, like you would a traditional floor, you need that three quarters of an inch to have the nail holding okay. power. Right. If it's three eighths, the nails aren't going to hold. It'll all start to come up, so it gets to be a mess. And you have to put rosin paper between the two woods so you don't get squeaking Squeakies, from the woods. That's true. So it gets to be a process that probably isn't uh, that desirable for most homes. So floating floor. Floating floor. It's up to me. But if you want to do a glue down, make sure you get someone really good. And the glue, for your answer your question, is the moisture barrier. All right. You got questions? Send it to us at homeshowradio.com. You can see more of our videos right over here. Aren't those fancy? You can also subscribe to our channel and see a whole bunch more.